Hi, today we want to introduce you to the Samsung SDP860 document camera. It's a great little camera, we think you really like it. Just want to show you a basic setup. Out of the box, this is how it looks. It comes with all the cables, everything you need to set it up, software, and it's a neat little remote. Basically what you're going to do to set this up, is you want to lift up the camera arm, and you can spin it around. Rotate it down, basically set up. I'm going to make sure the lens cap is off. And we've got a light under here in case you don't have these great fluorescent lights overhead. Uh, here's your basic connection panel. You have your VGA in, VGA out. Here's your outlet for your power. You also have a DVI and there's your USB connection. Now to hook it up to a projector you can use your VGA cable or your DVI cable if you have the DVI input on your projector. Also hook it up to a plasma or HDTV. Pretty nice picture on there. We can also turn up the lamp on. That lamp is located right here on the camera. As you can see, we can still see what we're looking at here, even though it's got a little bit of a bright spot on it. But that's just the lamp and reflecting off of the surface. Either the buttons on the top of the unit here. We're using this remote. IR receivers on both sides of the uh, document camera. It's great if you're walking around the classroom. Functions. For instance, we can zoom. And this has got a really nice zoom on it. That's optical zoom, and now this is digital zoom. You zoom all the way in enough where you can see all the little pixels on that page. And if you didn't notice, it's got autofocus, so you don't have to worry about focusing anything. And a little detail on there. You can see President Lincoln sitting inside his memorial, right there, right in the corner. Real smooth video. You can see my hand doesn't look very choppy at all. So, science teachers, you can do dissection. That'll look real nice. You can also freeze the image. You can pass your hand under it. You can do anything. The image isn't going to change. It's frozen. So you can, it'll stay like that until you decide to unfreeze it. What you do with this camera is if you have an SD card, there's an SD slot built into the side of the camera. And you can not only save images, but you can also record video. It has a built-in microphone as well as a microphone input if you want to use a handheld mic. And it'll save those images or video right to your SD card. You can play them back right on the camera, you can put them on your computer, basically do anything you want with them once you have it saved. Alright, so right now we have our Samsung document camera connected to our computer. You can see the USB cable, we have our VGA going from the computer to the projector. And now we have the document camera's image up on our computer screen, which we're projecting on our interactive whiteboard here. So this is the Samsung SDP860 viewer software. I'm going to maximize this for you. So as you can see, here's our computer's image. Now you can make it different sizes. You can make it real small, make it fit the screen, or you can even do full screen. And again, this is the live image. I can still zoom in on our penny here. I can turn the lamp on and off. Make it brighter. Turn it off. Turn it off. If you're at your computer, just click anyway. And I'll go right back. Now this gives you a little bit more functionality. You can hit your still image button up here, and it's going to ask you where you want to save the picture. You can save that anywhere you like for later use. You can also print the picture. You can take snapshots, which is basically a quick save. Once you know where you want to save it, you just hit snapshot and it's going to save that image right there. You can also pick your resolutions. We have SXGA and VGA. Let's make it SXGA. It'll look a little nicer. Here's our full screen picture. Let's zoom in on it. Now, where's the penny on our screen? Well, the penny's right there. So as you can see, you can still do all the cool stuff your interactive whiteboards will do even though you're using your camera. They all work together real nice. It's a great camera. It's real easy to use. And I think you'll all really like it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. 866-942-6273. Or you can email sales at touchboards.com.